Please stay tuned with me to watch this different and delicious recipe of a very smoky charred prawn. Short recipe, these are the ingredients. 500 grams of deviant tea. I've taken the shells and put it in a pot and I'm charring this without water or oil. I'm trying to make a stock out of this smoky charred prawn shell. Once this is nicely browned without oil, I'm going to add water and boil it down and make a stock. Let's season the prawns with these masalas. A quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and salt. Mix. Saute in oil. As soon as you see the prawns curling, remove. And in the same oil, add two sliced onions. Now this is charring well. I'm going to add about half a liter of water into this. And there's the water. Let it boil down to one. And this smoky charred taste is what's going to be added to this. And it's going to be the element that changes the prawn curry from an ordinary one to an amazing one. And when the onions are translucent, add some curry leaves. Some dried red chili balls or just long red I'm chili. going to add a teaspoon of chopped ginger and garlic. A teaspoon each. Saute this. And it's time to add about three to four chopped tomatoes. These are skins. And with the tomatoes, the same amount of masalas I've used before. A quarter teaspoon of each of these. Saute this till this leaves water and oil rises. For the tomatoes to become softer, what I'm going to do is take some of the stock, add that to the mix. It will help it dissolve. Cover and cook on low heat. Okay, I'm going to leave this uncovered and let the water dry, oil rise to the surface. Look at the oil, it's almost risen to the surface. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of coconut milk. Today I'm not using cream. And I'm making a mess. Approximately half a can of coconut. Normally I use coconut cream, but I think that's more dense and intense than coconut milk. And I don't want the coconut to overpower the taste of the prawns. And now I'm going to add this beautiful charred smoky stock into the mix. Let this come to a boil. I've tried the masala, it's fabulous and on point. I'm going to add the prawns back in. And with that some green chilies, some lemon juice and some coriander and mix this. Never overcook the prawns, never cover and cook the prawns, they come hard. Now that's my tip to eat. A little bit of garam masala sprinkled on top, garnished with green chilies and coriander. This is ready to be eaten with white rice. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed this recipe of a charred smoky prawn stock prawn curry.